Dr. Jumoke Oduwole, I'm Special Advisor to the President on PEBEC and Investment in the Office of the Vice President. Thank you. You're welcome. See that beautiful smile book now. <laughs> okay. Now, speaking about investment, mm -hmm. Lagos in particular is one of the best places to do business investment when it comes to investment okay i mean there's the people power knowing that there's a lot of people in lagos with the buying power more like that can do investment here but then it's also very difficult to start up a business here what's the correlation between investing and starting a business in lagos especially well i would speak to the nation because i work for the federal government and we work with all states and the fct so we have uh, actual subnational intervention I'm privileged to coordinate the Presidential and Enabling Business Environment Council. So one of the pillars of the work we do is the subnational intervention. So in general, not to pick on Lagos, and I know Lagos is our commercial capital, so it does apply. Um, starting a business and the, the amount of volume of, of businesses in Lagos is part of the problem that makes it so difficult because the services are under strain. So for instance, with... Um, land registration or whatever it is because there are more people and there's more demand sometimes there's more of a bottleneck so you need to layer automation you need to audit your processes and use technology to make it simpler and easier to do business so when states are committed to these reforms which is what we do we work on business climate reforms that focus on the cost of doing business the um, speed of doing business and transparency so to do that, you need to work on people issues, corruption, rent-seeking opportunities. You need to work on processes, auditing regulations, auditing processes, legislation, how people are able to function, the enabling framework, and then, of course, into infrastructure. So hard infrastructure, what I'm talking about is classified as soft infrastructure, but hard infrastructure will be your airports, your seaports, your road, your rail, your waterways, your broadband, fiber optics. So it's a whole gamut, but when states are coordinated and they have a sustained business climate intervention, like Lagos State, the Honorable Commissioner uh, for Commerce has been a champion of ease of doing business. We've been having discussions. In fact, we're having an event at the end of Q1, like towards the end of March, will be hosted by His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, and she'll be continue her, her engagement with private sector. It's, it's key not only to do things, but to, see, to be seen to be doing them. So communication, stakeholder engagement is extremely critical. So we're partnering on, an, in, on a stakeholder uh, for, forum uh, at the end of this quarter. That's, that's, I'm looking forward to that. Yes, you should come. Yes. <laughs> I will. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, now, speaking about private, the private sector, starting up a business is one thing in Nigeria. Now, what are the laws to sustain not just the startups, but other businesses that have started up. What are those laws that help them to sustain the business in Nigeria? So the, the regulatory and legislative framework that underpin doing business in Nigeria is huge. So, for instance, taxation. You have your federal taxes for your company's income tax. Then you'll also pay your personal income tax at the, sub, at the state level. Um, you will pay charges, levies with the local governments or other state charges and levies. There are also specialized regulators for each sector. You will also pay charges, levies. So the cost of regulatory compliance can be quite high. The most important thing for a business, any business at any level, is to know your regulatory terrain, okay. know what the laws are, know who your regulators are, know what the so that you can budget effectively, and then be an active citizen. By being an active citizen, I mean if there's a policy that is adverse to your sector, Join an organized private sector group, Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, NASMI, NASIMA, there's so many, and there's some that are sector specific okay. and become an advocate. You don't need to just sit and complain. You can actually engage government. Sometimes the government may not even know because there are different regulators, different agencies, like we track about 53 ministries, departments, and agencies that have a direct interface on small and medium-sized enterprises. But there are almost 700 ministries, departments, and agencies across the federal government of Nigeria, not to mention state government. So government is huge. It's not one behemoth entity. It's really... And sometimes they don't talk to each other. Sometimes there's information asymmetry. So working on strategic communication, both from the private sector side and also in government, agencies should know that if you make a policy like this or a regulation like this, 
it may affect another regulation or maybe some agencies are making regulations that are duplicating. So for instance, let me give a practical example. Uh, a manufacturer of shea butter may, uh, uh, lotion may have to go to NAFDAQ, may have to go to Sun, may have to go to um, the quarantine services. If they're exporting, they may have to go to any PC. So knowing all of that, yes, knowing all of that and if there are duplications, bringing it to the attention of government as a whole, so that like, a, like PEBEC is, a, is an intervention that tries to make sure there's coordination. You also have the special advisor that works on policy coordination. There wasn't that before, so President Bola Ahmed Tinubu just introduced that. And there's the central delivery unit, central coordinating delivery unit, to track what exactly ministries, departments, and agencies are doing okay. in terms of impact, KPIs, but also in terms of coordination. So you don't have one ministry doing something, another ministry did something else. Fiscal, monetary, trade, that's just the economic side. But there's health, there's pharmaceuticals, there, there's so much. Um, the, the Nigerian economy is also very vast. And so um, making sure that sectors, especially the priority sectors, we look to manufacturing, we look to tech is going very fast, we look to supporting the creative sector, transport and logistics, all the enablers, all the fast growing areas and all the areas like agriculture that are so huge, they, 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 so many people are involved, that government has to prioritize it and make sure that we're moving to value addition. You heard the governor of Jigawa, you heard the vice president's remarks that I delivered. I was in Ghana last week at the Africa Prosperity Dialogue. These are all the issues that FCFTA, that everybody's talking about. We can't talk about a lack of foreign exchange or our rate is galloping without working on productivity and competitiveness and exporting more so that we can earn more dollars, so that we can consume what we want. So there's no problem, I say to people, there's no problem if you want to eat apples and grapes. As long as you're exporting mangoes and pineapples, then, you know, then it's fair. Some people just want, in, people in, in temperate climates, they want tropical fruits. It's Truth. exotic. Yeah. People in tropics want, want temperate them. apples. So that's human beings for you. And no problem, as long as you're productive and you're competitive mm -hmm. and you're disciplined, hardworking, and your government is working for you, supporting you, making sure that you have an enabled environment to thrive. All right. That's beautiful. Oh, by the way, we have a podcast okay. that concerns going local. Ah. That's the name of the podcast, Go okay. Local. And we're talking about uh, going into the local areas mm -hmm. of our, for example, our first season mm -hmm. is on craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. Yes. That, we just finished one, the Adire. Oh. We're looking at Rafia and Rattan. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. I'm guessing those are one of... The oh, for we sure. Can do. Yeah. Also, you can be part I'm of a that. local champ. This is made in Nigeria. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost my whole wardrobe yes. is Nigeria because I'm actually from Abelkuta. I so I'm, I'm a, yeah, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a real advocate for the industry. And we have to move quickly mm -hmm. because I've seen some Chinese imports. Coming in. Yeah. Exactly. And trying to replicate, but you cannot beat the authentic craftsmanship. That has, and it's not just in Abelkuta. I've been to Kano, I've seen the indigo pits. Mm -hmm. There's like Oshun as well, around yes. the country. And there are other fabrics, even Asha Oke alone can be a huge export. There's an amazing woven fabric from the East as well that's a bit softer than Asha Oke. That also can be a global export. Yes. Uh, we have to give Af the world what the world needs from Africa. Why shouldn't Zobo be on every table like orange juice and apple juice? Why shouldn't mm -hmm. mango juice Zobo juice, coconuts, tiger yeah, tiger nuts. That's an, another one that is growing really fast. And they're popular and they're in demand. The same way the world wants our Afrobeat, the same way the world wants our Nollywood, it's the same way they want our fashion. Everywhere I go, internationally when I travel, people are always asking about my clothes, asking mm -hmm. about my hair, asking about... So these are our competitive advantage and we should play to them. We should play to our strengths. In the last few years, a lot of Nigerians have been much more uh, patronizing made in Nigeria clothes, but the fabric is usually important. So yes, That's you have thing. a fashion designer or a tailor, at least we're giving jobs, yes. but we need to support our textile industry. Oh. It's industrialization. We have the cotton. We're one of the world's leading producers of cotton. So we need to, we shouldn't export cotton to import fabrics, fabric. to export uh, garments to, we need to capture the whole value chain right here at home round circle and throw it out yes 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 looking forward to having you on the podcast no problem <laughs> i like to talk i'm an academic oh lovely. yes <laughs>
All right. Thank you so much You're for welcome. coming.